A second recent adaptive reuse is in Detroit, Michigan. Of course, the story of Detroit's decline has been well chronicled. The city's recent bankruptcy filing has prompted many to speculate the city is beyond redemption, beyond repair. U-Haul doesn't agree. We have heard this story before. U-Haul is stepping up in Detroit to be part of the solution, not part of the problem. Our business is helping people improve the quality of their life through residential mobility. If ever there was a city that needed improvement of the quality of life, Detroit fits the description. Detroit has built the cars that customers have used to tow our trailers since 1945. It's totally appropriate that U-Haul steps up in this instance. So while other businesses leave, U-Haul will continue to service Detroit. U-Haul centers and neighborhood dealerships in the Detroit metro area provide needed jobs, goods, services, and more importantly, mobility to the population. To that end, we purchased the former National Biscuit or Nabisco Company building in Midtown at the intersection of Grand and the Lodge Freeway, three blocks from the Fisher Building. Built in 1920, this historic seven-story, 238,000-square-foot building served as a Nabisco Regional Bakery for more than 30 years. Nabisco exited the building in the 1950s. When we bought it last year, the building had been vacant for three years. We could have tore down this building and built one from the ground up, but the fact that we're using a piece of Detroit to put back to the community, that's great. As we have done with other reuse projects, we have incorporated a number of features from the old building into our new design, ensuring continuity for the neighborhood. For our showroom, we converted the former boiler room. We kept the clamshell scoop that transported coal for the bakery boilers from rail cars and the scale that weighed the coal. Outside, we uncovered a brick road across our entrance, formerly part of Forsyth Avenue. The facility features more than 930 indoor single-level storage rooms, providing nearly 63,000 square feet of self-storage. Without a doubt, this is the best storage product in all of Detroit. Based on conservative formulas, Reuse of the Nabisco building provides the following benefits. Nearly 600 tons of carbon emissions from production of tons of steel and concrete and the energy required for new construction has been avoided. 83 tons of steel manufacturing and transportation has been prevented. 82,144 tons of new concrete manufacture has been avoided. This has kept 82,000 tons of CO2 out of our air, making the air better to breathe for myself, my children, and my grandchildren. 81,558 tons of construction and demolition debris has been avoided. I think that U-Haul's revitalization of the Nabisco building is much more than the revitalization of just the building. This is about invigorating a community with a corporate culture that supports what's happening at the ground floor in terms of revitalization efforts in Detroit. This is supporting the people that are in Detroit. This is supporting, hopefully, the lots of new residents that are moving to Detroit. And this is really an effort that shows what we can do with our existing infrastructure and really make it new again and make it vibrant. I'm very excited about this location. The facility is located in the Midtown Detroit area three miles north of the downtown area. This is not a blighted area. Three major institutions are located in this area. Henry Ford Medical Systems, Wayne State University, and the Detroit Medical Center. The Henry Ford Health System has committed to invest 500 million in 300 acres south of its existing campus and a few blocks southwest of our building. These three employers have also partnered in Live Midtown. This is an incentivized residential living program aimed to encourage their more than 30,000 employees to live and invest in a Midtown home. 
other retail developers have recently opened or announced new facilities in the area. U-Haul also anticipates development of our cross-border rentals with Canada. This Detroit facility is literally across the river from our Windsor, Ontario facility. A lot of people are moving into the downtown Midtown area and they're either students that maybe are coming from their parents' place and need space to actually store because they're living in small loft apartments or they're um, older people that are downsizing and kind of having their retirement years here. And I think it's really a benefit for people because a lot of the spaces here, some of them are very large but don't have storage units and it will help people to actually improve their quality of life.